This is the first project, I believe, to get the Marvel Spotlight label. The mm -hmm. one that of officially says it's unofficial. It She's links the to things now. that are official, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm already confused. Uh, but I don't know if the spotlight is supposed to be some sort of elsewhere world thing. I think this is just a spotlight on a character in that world that we may not get to see. We, because we're not going to get a season two of this, right? No. And I what up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of the Learning Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me as always is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, Echo. They had us very interested with trailers, Brian. I have to say, they had you very interested. <laughs> was, you weren't that fool. I was not. I, I said you were being tricked. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> but it did look interesting. Um. I saw the first episode. I haven't been able to see the entirety of it yet. Uh, I know some individuals that have, and they weren't that disappointed. The, the, based on the reviews that I've read, Brian, <clears throat> this is not terrible. Um, it has its high and low points, but from what I saw, Brian, in the in the first episode, and this is all I can say that I noticed, I was very impressed with some of the fight sequences, especially with Daredevils. Hmm? Um, I was a I was disappointed at the attempt to replicate what they tried to do in the original Daredevil series in Netflix with the one shot fight sequence. You could see. It was a bit sloppy, Brian, but uh, hopefully in, in, in uh, Born Again, you'll get this feedback and you correct that. But Brian, what are your thoughts so far on what you've seen? I feel pretty vindicated. <laughs> um, well, yeah, this is so here's the thing. I have not finished the series, neither of you. Based upon what I've seen so far, this is not as bad as Secret Invasion. Um, I mean that really from a positive standpoint. And here's the reason why. Secret Invasion felt to me like nobody wanted to be there. It was a stripped down version of a classic story and it had an absolutely horrific ending. Now, I haven't seen the ending of Echo to know whether it's going to be how that's going to turn out. But at the very least, I feel like I'm getting a committed performance from the people who are in the show, right? A lot. I mean, Nothing. I, I don't think either yes. of us is going to have any any shade to throw at Alakwa Cox. Um, so she's given you everything she's got and trying to inhabit this character. Obviously, we're we're kind of where I'm at in the show. We're we're getting Wilson Fisk back, but we're not like you know he obviously in the first episode he doesn't really appear till very end. It doesn't say anything, but but D'Onofrio was clearly invested based upon sort of the press tour work that he's done. Um, so I think you're getting everyone's best effort when they're on screen which i think shows but man i i my fear my expectation when i saw this was a five episode dump was that you were going to feel like this was put through the editing room a hundred times and i really do feel like that's what it plays like you just like even from the very first couple of sequences it's like you're jumping from cosmic indigenous people origins to like a highlight reel of Hawkeye to childhood sequences to present day to, as you said, we'll get to the fight. It just, I was like, this thing is going in eight different directions and we're 20 minutes into the series. Yeah. And, and I think that just speaks to whatever happened on this production, which we hear was very troubled. They just are trying to patchwork this thing together in some way that makes some sense or at least strikes a, a kind of tone that they want to send to you. And I just, it's not, so it's not, wor it's not working for me. It feels like a mess. I think it looks like a mess, but I don't think it's like if you ripped apart each individual component, I don't think each individual component is necessarily bad, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's something uh, I heard from one individual. Shout out to Diego. He uh, he he said he enjoyed very much the sequence with uh, the the backstory of the indigenous people and the whole thing with that. Uh, I haven't seen it enough to appreciate it, so I won't comment on how good that stuff is. I haven't really seen. I only seen the first episode, which was really Brian, Brian for me. Uh, 
a sort of patchwork add-on to the to the Hawkeye series with her story. Uh, and uh, and yeah, then the fight sequence, and I have yet to see another episode, but I will try to finish it up this weekend. But um, hey, so far I'm interested. Yeah, I think there's a couple of things that sort of are standing out just from the 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 bits that I've seen. So one is let's talk about the fighting. Look, I mean, it is clearly like it's TVMA. They want you to know it's TVMA. I had the same exact reaction to you when I realized they were doing single single cam, single shot, feeling like, oh, you you really want us to think this is Netflix Daredevil. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the difference is, and I think you would agree, is like, when we got those sequences in Daredevil, it felt like, it felt original, it felt different, it felt like it fit with this broader harmony they of, of that they were creating within that show. Mm -hmm. This definitely felt more like, hey, like we are, we are lifting that liberally and trying to bring that back for you. Uh, and you're right, it wasn't as tight. Like it, it was not this, the creativity of the fighting was not as tight within the sequence, even though the camera wasn't wasn't cutting away. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hopefully they can get that feedback from other people, man. I don't know. Uh, it's tough, it's tough. I mean, you should have just done, I don't know if those people who, <laughs> Perhaps were contacted to come back to do those things. Said no, I don't know, but um, it sure looks like they need some. They, they have some more to do before Born Again comes out. Now, I, I think the other thing that I kind of am struggling with a little bit is, so this whole cosmic thing. <laughs> um, it, they're clearly telling this very sweeping origin story or origin of the indigenous peoples as a way to kind of weave in the cultural significance of the character and and give the character sort of that it has me worried because not because they're showing it i understand why they're showing it and i understand like that's a big part of why this series exists and why they're putting this foot forward my concern i'm going to spoil one thing you haven't seen i am not super familiar so echo's not a character i know in and out from the comics i was not aware that she's supposed to be super powered but they have powered her up in this series using kind of this like indigenous people's force. And I kind of, I'm like, well, wait, wait, isn't she supposed to be more like a hand to hand foil for daredevil? Well, I, I was not aware that she kind of is going to actually have apparently, mystical magical powers. Apparently she had, uh, the Phoenix at, at one point. I don't know. What the hell is that? Everyone's got a gimmick now. It's like, well, why does everybody got to have a power nowadays? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know why that's necessary for a yeah. show like this. <clears throat> yeah, I would have preferred. I, I, I hope um, they would just continue to keep her on the ground level. She doesn't need to be this big thing. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't I, know. I mean, I kind of like. I kind of liken it to like, well, the Daredevil origin makes good comic sense in the sense of he loses his sense of sight and it heightens his, he hones and it heightens his other senses and so he Due almost, to the tox toxicity of whatever caused some sort of reaction to his uh other correct. senses so they yes. give it a basis right like it's it's a trauma they give it a basis and then he, but then he has to hone and develop what he is given to become the man without fear yeah. this felt a little more like okay here's this hero who suffers a tragic accident or anti-hero however you want to look at her who obviously is very tough develops fighting skills but then like is in an instant just handed like a power pellet and it's like I, that feels very different to me than than you know what 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 daredevil goes through and i, I just didn't i didn't care for it so i haven't seen where it exactly goes but it has me very nervous for how they intend to use this character well, all the all the episodes are, have been released. I'm sure everyone has seen it. Uh, not everyone, but I'm sure a lot of people have binged it. Uh, I hope to get through through it this weekend, and and hopefully Brian and I can sort of give us give it our rating as to where it lies in the in the lore of the MCU in terms of ratings, the best of, and stuff like that. 
Well, here, here's the other thing. Where does it lie? This is the first project, I believe, to get the Marvel Spotlight label. The mm -hmm. one that of officially says it's unofficial. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, Which is weird because... It She's links the things devil. that are official, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm already confused. Uh, but I don't know if the spotlight is supposed to be some sort of elsewhere world thing. I think this is just a spotlight on a character in that world that we may not get to see. We because we're not going to get a season two of this, right? No, and I think okay. I actually think what Marvel nuances spotlight as is they're kind of saying you don't need to have seen. So here's the thing: I agree and disagree with. I think the spotlight label is supposed to say this project does not require you to do homework in the rest of the MCU to understand it. However, the first 20 minutes of this show are the homework. Like yeah, it's just yeah. Hawkeye. It's Hawkeye clips, right? Which yeah, kind of yeah. is like, well, yeah, you kind of would have needed to see Hawkeye to actually get a little bit of this character. But I think the spotlight is supposed to say like, hey, these are more standalone type projects. So, I just think if they are that, they kind of need to be that. And like if, if Matt Murdock and Wilson Fisk and like all this stuff is walking around that's going to go elsewhere, then it sort of feels a little shaky ground already for what Marvel Spotlight is supposed to be. I, I think this is to me, Brian, it could be a spotlight that involves a character that not necessarily will continue in an arc of the, in the MCU. But you can tell a story of a character that not necessarily participates in the superhero uh, as a job, right? They just happen to have these powers and deal with it and at a, on occasion have to use it to get themselves or assist whatever, right? Um, so I think that's the I, I think that's where they're heading with spotlight. So Werewolf by Night would be a great example, though, I think, of Marvel Spotlight. Like, yeah, that would yeah, make yeah, perfect yeah, sense yeah. to me as Marvel Spotlight. You don't yeah. need any anything else to enjoy that project. Yes. This one feels a little more, it's in the spotlight because Expert they didn't yeah. like how it turned out. Yeah, that's exactly. what I guess that's what I'm getting at. <laughs> if this show had been a classic the way they thought it was going to be probably when they greenlit it, would it be a spotlight? I think Brian is still an interesting experiment to to look into and really try to make spotlight, uh, these sort of spotlight events more eventful. Which I have no problem with. I, the concept of doing one-off stories that are just good stories because maybe a creator has a great idea to tell it or, or take a specific comic run and they want to adapt that, I, that I have no problem with at all. Yeah. Um, I it just, it, this one definitely feels like it got retconned into the spotlight as yeah, opposed yeah, to it was yeah. meant for it from the beginning. Yeah. And I think this show is going to kind of come and go, to be quite oh, honest. Yeah. 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 I mean, people. Unfortunately. I mean, the show may come and go, but the, the character may appear someday. Who knows? Perhaps. Right. Maybe, 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 maybe even in Born Again. Who knows? Uh, but let us know in the comment section below what you guys thought of Echo. Um, don't spoil it for us if you do decide to comment. Uh, give us that like, that subscription, share that 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 that, that show, share the show with other people, and um, we'll see you next time on the Nerd Gym Report. The show goes on. Yeah!